Welcome. Welcome to Woodway Park. This is our assembly. Assembly is a very important part of school life. This is the time when you bring all the pupils together. Right, good morning, Year 7 and 8. It was a current affairs assembly. Um, and the idea is to make it educational so that pupils understand what the United Nations is and what the role of the United Nations is but then also to make it relevant to them. Start off today's assembly with a little challenge. So could we have... Today's assembly was about World Food Day and the UN and how we should help other countries get through poverty and become more developed. The reason that it's important is it's because there's less people less fortunate than ourselves in different countries that are dying and we need to help them out. Right, we've got a little challenge today because today's assembly is all about food. And what we're going to do is we're going to give you a little eating challenge. A very important component of assemblies is about challenging people's values of what's acceptable and what's not acceptable. And often an assembly can allow you to role play uh, a situation about things that they might have heard in the news, about what they would do if, and perhaps also to make them think very carefully about what their values and beliefs are, are, are about. Remember, you can only hold the fork with one hand at the end. Right, one minute starting from now. If pupils can actively participate in the assembly, they'll go away remembering the themes in a lot more depth than if they're not actively involved. <laughs> Assemblies have to be fun. They have to be inspirational because children want to be entertained. And what we want to do is to change the way they think. <laughs> When you put the goggles on, you're like, you're not really sure, you think it's going to be quite dangerous. And then when it was like eating sweets, it was like quite fun. It's like a mini lesson to start your day to like wake us up more for our lessons that we have after the assembly while we have fun while we're learning. Because the music just well, wakes you up. Because if you just went straight to first period, then there'd be nothing to work with. Things like this are important because they inform us that activities or disasters that are going on throughout the world that we might not know about if we didn't have the assemblies and they tell us about them in a way that we would understand what's happening. It taught us about teamwork because if you were doing that problem on your own you wouldn't have been able to do it. Year 8, you've got 12 left. Hang on the whole point of the exercise was to get us to realise that together everyone achieves more and if you work as a team then you can get things solved faster than if you worked on your own. Year seven have only got seven left, so year seven are the winners. I mean, it, it's not an easy thing getting up in front of your peers, as you can imagine, um, and performing, if effectively they are performing. And um, I think it does. it is a confidence building exercise. Participation is a major thing that our students really, really enjoy. But it's also an opportunity to raise some of the more difficult issues, to think about with students about some of the more topical things. We link it very carefully with our PSHE programme and of course citizenship which is a key part of the school. For this show I'd like you really to reflect on poverty in the world. I think it's very important for the day to have a nice calm start where pupils can get together um, not particularly for an act of worship but for an act of reflection on what's going on in the world today and the issues that affect them. The best assemblies when I stand in the corridor, as I said, do at the end of the assembly, and the children come out, and they're buzzing, they're excited, they've enjoyed themselves, but they also want to tell you what they found out, and they told me all about the marshmallows and the, the forks and whatever, but they also explained, did I understand about the issues about food provision around the world? So it's fun, but they're learning, and that's the best part for me. <laughs>